the gift. A week ago Saturday was Pope Francis's 80th birthday, and so he wanted to have a little party. So um, he invited eight guests to his dinner, um, and those people happened to be eight homeless people from outside that area around uh, St. Peter's. There's four Italian, two Romanian, one, one from Moldova, and one from Peru. And you see these pictures, you search for it, you see pictures on the internet where people are just smiling. They're just, they're having a great time. That, that here's this person who is so, seeming so lofty, and yet who comes and enters their world, shares a meal with them, and, and invites them in. And, and they would wish that, you know, um, you know, gosh, can we do this every Sunday? <laughs> can we do this every week for dinner, you know? Um, but it's for a time, and it's a little light, and perhaps maybe a difficult life, um, but one that filled them with joy. The prophet Isaiah paints this picture that the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. What's this light? Because the people in darkness were waiting for a savior, somebody to come in with a a mighty army to change the course of the world and, and lift them up. But the sign given to them was a child, an infant lying in a manger. To feel the contrast of that, all we have to do is look at our own situation. If we think about our own darkness, so to speak, it's all too easy to tap into that, right? Um, Even yesterday, I, I searched online for, like, recent terrorist attacks, and I found a Wikipedia page that like lists them out uh, by the month and the day. And already yesterday morning for Christmas Eve, there were already multiple instances around the world. It's like, wow. You know, other people look at the political climate, the, our nation. Some people don't have to look further than their own families. Maybe someone's sick. Maybe there's this tension. There's difficulty. Maybe some of us lost loved ones in the last year or beyond. Um, And so the darkness is thick. And we look at God to do something, and it seems like he's not acting. He's not acting in the way that we want him to. God, if you really are a mighty king, if you are the king of kings, then why don't you come in here and just change things? Why don't you just show up and prove it to everybody. But God, in his gentleness and wisdom, comes and enters into our world in a way that's unexpected, it's not what we want, it's not what we asked for, but in a way that's gentle and simple and humble, because that's where we are, and somehow that's what's best for us. I went to a a dinner last week, and it was some people, some supporters of the Newman Center, but a couple of these people have significant means, and this gentleman was sharing with me, he said, you know, every month I have this dinner that I go to, and it's nice, and um, he says, but, you know, it's not really feeding me anymore. He says, you know what feeds me? He goes, I started going down to St. Vincent de Paul and feeding the poor, and he says, I get so much more out of that. And he's like, I can't change their lives, their world, but I can go and be with them for a time. The, the person next to me heard this, and then he shared, he said, you know what, what, what's been feeding me is on Tuesdays, I go to the jails with a group of Catholic and kind of evangelical people, and we lead a prayer service for the prisoners. And he says, it's unbelievable. Is this the highlight of my week to go and just be with these people? And I think there's something powerful for those people as well that, that you know, I mean, they wish they could come and, and, and help these people and lift them from their situation, but they come and they just be with them. 
When Jesus Christ is born in the manger, yes, there are some fireworks, there's some lights, there's some angels, but there's still darkness. But the darkness is different now because the light has entered the darkness. And the darkness begins to scatter. That the presence of Christ in our lives is able to dispel some of the darkness, able to give us a light by which to continue walking forward and to know that no darkness can overcome that light. That the power of Jesus, Jesus in the initial moments of his life, finds himself lying on a piece of wood in a manger, helpless. Foreshadowing how in the closing moments of his life, he will be lying against a piece of wood, helpless, once again offering himself to all people. That the gift of all gifts is Jesus Christ, who comes to be with us where we are in our helplessness, fully dependent on a father and others, helpless on a cross, giving everything. That he comes because that's where we are in our suffering and our helplessness. But he also gives us a model that true meaning in life comes as we also offer the gift of ourselves, helpless to change the world, but knowing nothing else other than I'm just going to give myself. I'm just going to be with... I, I, I kind of keep learning this little issue. It's, maybe there's people in our family that we struggle with. Maybe there's neighbors, coworkers. And it's like, I don't know what to do. I have a son or daughter that I don't get along with or something. What's the, what's the answer? Jesus shows us the model that the, the answer is to go and be with them. To just be with them. Not to change them, not to change their world, but to be with them and invite ourselves, to, to invite them to maybe into our lives. Jesus invites us today to invite him to come be with us. We don't have to be in darkness. Hopefully we're not, you know, that he wants to come and be with us wherever we're at. That he comes and he invites us that we can come and receive him at his dinner every week. That he comes to us to lift us up from our prison so that we would know that we are not alone. And so perhaps maybe a prayer for today would be to take some time to maybe meditate on a nativity scene or just imagine yourself at the nativity scene. And imagine that, that God is there because he has come, he desires to come into our lives, to be where we are. And that doesn't mean that that person I'm worried about isn't going to suddenly get well, that my financial situation isn't going to have a miraculous recovery. But somehow, that by Christ coming into my life and bringing his light, that suddenly maybe I feel a warmth. That I'm reminded that I am not alone. That God, the one who's all-powerful, who can control all things, who humbly received from the Father his will, that perhaps as he is with me, that I can also receive the will of the Father in this situation that I find myself. And know that this too will lead to his glory and mine. So maybe I don't know a lot. Maybe I don't know what to do. I don't know how to control things. But all I need to know is that he has come. That he is here. And that's enough. <laughs>